Hello. Would you now welcome a funny young man who is now making a return appearance at an evening at the Improv. He, was, he has toured with War and Tiara. Here is Paul Rodriguez. <laughs> But she's Italian, and there's a lot of Italians here, which I'll tell you something, I never make jokes about Italians. Because <laughs> I don't want to wake up with a horse's head in my bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Mexican, just like the kind that make you mad on the freeway. <laughs> and, and we understand the situation. Our cars only go 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Yours would too if you had 40 Mexicans in the trunk. <laughs> People get upset right there behind you. Beep, beep, damn it, move, move, we gotta go to work. We don't have no work to go to. <laughs> Which leads me into Reaganomics. Yeah, from the Chicano perspective, Mexicans, we like Ronald Reagan. We don't like his policies, but we can identify with his hairdo. <laughs> He goes it back, puts plenty of pomade. That's enough to get the Hispanic bold. So good man, Reaganomics. Ronald Reagan and his programs. I like to thank him because I'm here under the CETA program for Hispanic comedians. <laughs> but you're sitting there wondering, how do you know that I'm a Mexican? Well, here's proof, tortilla. <laughs> for you, tortilla. Ladies and gentlemen, this is America. When I tell you I'm a Mexican, don't misunderstand me. I'm American. And it's great to be American, and so are all of you. Ethnic groups is what made America the unique nation in the world. Where else but in America could a Mexican girl date an Irish guy, drive a Japanese car to a Chinese restaurant, come back and be arrested by a black cop? <laughs> be arrested, do it in Los Angeles, because here the police are polite and courteous. When they pull you over, they say, please. <laughs> courteous is a black guy going, yeah? White people going, well, we haven't had any problems in our neighborhood. <laughs> sure, a few parking tickets here and there, it's quite understandable. But the police are courteous, because when they pull you over, they say, please, please pull over. Makes us feel like we got a choice. Like we can say, no, thank you, officer. <laughs> I don't have time to chit chat with you right now. <laughs> Cause I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always getting stuff. I was born a suspect. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. Here in Los Angeles, if your car's got primer spots, that's probable cause. <laughs> They'll pull you right over. Ah, uh, but it's all these things that are happening. See, when I, when I realize, and all of you should, how fortunate we are being in America, because you find unique combinations and situations in this country that I'm positive do not exist nowhere else in the world. Just today, I went to a Mexican restaurant in East L.A. run by a black family. <laughs> it's called Casa Yo Mama. <laughs> Great. Three fried ribs. Hey, how's that been? Hey, how you doing? Where's the TV cameras? Hey! Can you believe it? The magic of television? Here I am. I understand this show is going to Canada, which is the easiest border I ever found. <laughs> Guess I'm international now, no? All right, I'll tell you what, there will be plenty of tortillas for those of you who laugh quite for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, like everybody else, we Chicanos like to keep up with the times, but our parents won't give us any quarter to play Pac-Man. You're gonna put a quarter on something, it better be a washing machine. <laughs> That's what my mother said. But we like to keep up to the times here, so we do. We cut a tortilla like this. We got Chicano Pac-Man. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm a Mexican, but it could have happened to you. You could have been a Mexican. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> She's going, what a horrible thought. <laughs> Chills up and down my unemployment check. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cameraman, focus on me, please. Huh? No, no. Don't badger these guys. They went to school for this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from East Los Angeles, and of course, you've heard the news. It's a violent place. There's a lot of good people there, but there's bad people everywhere, because that's the way things are. I don't know. But I used to be in the baddest gang of them all in East L.A. I belong to the Warlords. I'll give your cameras back, okay? Yeah, and our arch enemies was a Jewish gang across the tracks. They were the landlords. <laughs> There's a Jewish person in the back, some Jewish people, don't be offended. My father is half Mexican, half Jewish. He's a migrant stockbroker. <laughs> and when we have Passover, we serve the manichetti for everybody here. Hip Joe, thank you very much. Huh? <laughs> what can I tell you? This is my attire, these is my pants, and these are, we wear baggy pants. Caucasians always asking us, why do you Chicanos wear such baggy clothes? <laughs> well, it facilitates shoplifting. <laughs> I can get a color TV set in this sucker right here. <laughs> First, we can transfer life into other things. There's a lot of a lot of people here, especially in California, who defend different animals. Don't kill the whales, save the seals. But no one is talking about our best friend, Las Cucarachas. <laughs> you know why I admire cockroaches? Because they are survivors. After the Russians bomb us, we bomb them. Roaches shall inherit the earth. Because you can't kill them. The thing I love about cockroaches is that they are so, they fit in, they blend in wherever they are. They take up the ethnicity of whoever's house they live in. The roaches in my apartment are Chicanos. You can tell, they walk across your living room, they're in gangs. They wear red bandanas. They write their names on your refrigerator. Because all of that boils down to the point I'm trying to make, is that here we are, and we've got no choice but to get along. Because in every race, God put brilliant people, and put stupid people, and put pretty people, and put ugly people. And ugliness is a statistic. <laughs> Look around, there's some here. How many people here are ugly and know it? <laughs> I guess you want me to point you out, huh? Statistics are that one out of every six people on earth is ugly. So look at the six people at your table now. They're looking through, she's going, well, it's not me. <laughs> well, it has come to that time again. I'll let you know how, how happy I am. I really thank Mr. Bud Friedman a lot for allowing me to work here. You know, he's the gentleman that discovered me. I was breaking into his house at the time. <laughs> thank you, have a good night.